guys, it's August, so I thought I'd do the August 3 in 1 tag, and this month's topic is books that made you lose track of time. And there were so many I wanted to use for this, but I think I've narrowed it down to the top three out of the ones that have made me lose track of time. The first book that made me lose track of time was Ultraviolet by R.J. Anderson. And first of all, can we just talk about how pretty this cover is? It is gorgeous, and it's all really nice and shiny and all the rest of it. But I completely, like, I read this in the middle of my uni canteen for five hours straight because I had to have a meeting in the morning and my lecture wasn't until the afternoon so I sat in the canteen and I completely zoned out. I have never zoned out as much as I have apart from when I was reading this book. I completely just went. There were classes coming in and out, people were ordering things, people were talking, shouting, running about all over the place. I didn't hear them. I did not hear them. I The only reason why I managed to actually get to my lecture on time was because people from my class turned up and sat with me and made me stop reading, unfortunately, when I was, like, this far away from the end, which was really annoying. But I literally just completely zoned out and read this entire thing in, like, five hours, and I didn't even realise the time was going. It was such a good, absorbing read. I was totally into it. So that's got to be one of them. The second book that I lost track of time with was The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstein. And oh my god did I lose track of time reading this. I... The description of this entire book is so beautiful and so well done. I completely got completely sucked into the world. And while I had to pause this more than I had to with Ultraviolet, I still read this really quickly and continually lost track of time while reading it. I was completely absorbed and I lost about three evenings to reading this book without even realising that I was reading. You know when you sort of get into that zone where you're just reading the story and you completely forget that you're actually reading? Yeah, that happened with this book. I was completely and utterly into it. I completely lost track of where I was, what I was doing and how much time had passed. Again, the only reason why I stopped reading this was because I was interrupted by my mum telling me that it was, like, um, time for dinner or something. That's the only reason why I stopped reading this, because I was so, so involved. Lastly, the third book on this list is probably of no surprise to anyone, but Terry Pratchett's The Hogfather. I love this book. Every year it's a tradition to read it and watch the um, TV adaption as well, so I've watched this and read this a whole lot of times, so often, in fact, that I actually have started quoting it, and I always quote it every single year on Christmas Eve. I love it, it's amazing, it is tradition now to read it, but still, every single time I read it, and every time I watch it, I get completely and utterly hooked and sucked into this world, and I just... I love this book so much and I completely and utterly get so involved with it that the rest of the world disappears for me. I don't care that it's Christmas, I don't care that there's a ton of stuff that I need doing, I literally, I just don't care because this book completely absorbs my entire attention and I love it, it completely and utterly like, sucks me in and then that's it. That's me gone for the next like four or five hours reading this every year without a doubt. So this has got to be the top one of uh, the three books I've mentioned. This is the top one that's really made me lose myself, but all of them I have completely lost myself reading in. And that doesn't happen very often because I have the attention span of a gnat, essentially. I generally read a chapter and then I'm back on Twitter again for a couple of minutes or then Tumblr or whatever else and I end up pausing to check my email or whatever I happen to be doing. And I keep on doing that quite a lot with books, but with these three, I really, really didn't, which was slightly odd, which made them really stand out to me. And that's why I chose all three of them, because they really did make me lose track of time and forget where I was and what I was doing. All of these books, I've seriously loved and seriously gotten, like, completely swept up in them, and I cannot recommend all of them enough, especially The Hogfather. I know I go on about it a lot, but The Hogfather is something I truly believe that everyone needs to read at least once in their lifetime, because... It is so good. It's the same with any other Terry Pratchett book. Any Terry Pratchett book you have to read, but especially The Hogfather. It's the one that has completely swept me up the most and really stuck with me the most. As I said, all of these books have completely 
made me lose myself completely in the story, lose track of time, lose where I am and everything else. It's I can't recommend all of them enough, even if I wasn't particularly into the storyline like I was with the Night Circus, but they're all so worthy of losing yourself in, so I cannot recommend them enough. But if you agree with me, please do give me a thumbs up, and if you've read these books, please tell me down in the comments what you thought of them, and what are the books that make you guys lose yourself? Is there any that you think I should read that made you completely lose yourself? Because I'd love to know. Um, I will also link down below to the group where you find the three-in-ones each month if you want to check out those and get involved with it. But I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see any more of my videos, please click subscribe here and over here will be my previous video. But until next time guys, bye!